Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video, we'll be covering texture masking. And what you'll see we did here is we used a texture mask just to display our details of our normal map and our texture on only the tiles themselves and not on the grooves in between. Now we'll show you how to do this using the lerp method and also the detail texturing method. So the reason why you would want to do this is maybe sometimes you have different details on different parts of your texture that you want to display differently and you don't actually want to make two separate textures for that. So you can use this method just to cut out some details and add some details on, on um, other parts of your texture. So with that said, let's get on with the tutorial. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is jump over to GIMP. We're going to open our original albedo texture we created. So that's a white tiles with the darker grooves in between. And then I'm just going to click on the color select and we're going to use the RGB color. So for this one, we're going to use red and green. So you select red by pushing your red value to 255 and green and blue to zero and zero. And click OK. I'm going to use our bucket fill tool. And we're just going to fill in all the tiles with the red color. There we go. And then the same thing, going to select the green. Green 255, red and blue set to 0, 0. And we're just going to fill in the grooves. Okay, so I'm going to export this. And I'm going to pretend I haven't done it before. So tile 01 underscore mask dot PNG. And just click export. And I'm going to replace that one and click export. Jump over to Unreal, click import, and you'll see the tile mask one that we just created. And let's open it and just see what it looks like. There is some slight artifacting there still that I'm ignoring, so um, don't worry too much about that. So what I'm going to do here is if you click your view option here, you'll see that there's red, green, blue, and alpha channel. Now, when it displays nothing, it's pitch black, completely dark. If it displays red, all the parts that we filled with the red, like here, will be displayed as white. And if we switch over to green, you'll see that the green, which we filled in the grooves, also displays as white. So that's a a way that we can tell the engine to only accept values from a certain color or a certain part of the mask texture that we created. So let's open our material and I'll show you how to put this to use. So first thing we're going to do here is you'll notice that we combined these two normal maps using a lerp method in our previous video. The reason why the lerp method isn't the best is because it f combines these two to get a value. Instead of having the one texture be the focus and then just adding one onto it, it combines the two of them. To show you what I mean here is if you set this value to zero, you'll see that only our tiles display and no normal map detail there. If you set it to one, you'll see that our grooves have all the normal map detail, but now our tiles don't display. Now that's why when you put it to 0 0.5, you can see, okay, both of them kind of combine, but none of them are offers full-on detail. So um, let's quickly import our mask. You can just drag it into your material. And just quickly, just to show you what this will do is, let's just connect it up to the texture coordinate so it matches up. If you feed the red value, which was the tiles only, into the alpha channel, you'll see that it draws normal maps on the tiles only, but it doesn't combine them properly. So you'll see that you only have the normal map detail from the one texture. And if you swap the color values, you'll see that, okay, now we have normal maps from that texture, but only in between the grooves here. So. You can still use this method uh, if you want to add different details, but it's not the best and I wouldn't really recommend it. So we're going to delete that. Let's just drag that one out of the way. 
and I'm going to then just right click and I'm going to type in detail and you'll see there's an option that says detail texturing. Now this is a way you combine. You have your basic texture, your diffuse or your albedo and your detail diffuse. So obviously the second one and then the intensity and then the same with the normal map, detail normal map and normal intensity. So we're just focusing on the normal map at the moment. We're going to feed the normal map into there. And we're going to try and feed the, norm, the our detail texture or detail normal map into there. And you'll see that it will not take. That's because you have to convert your texture sample to a texture object. Once you've done that and you hook it in, you'll see that it will, do, it will hook in and uh, you're good to go. Now, with these two connected, I'm just going to drag this normal off and just put it into our material feed. And you'll see here, basically, both textures are displaying at full on detail um, over one another. So we have a much better looking texture. But now, for instance, we don't want the normal map detail. For instance, we don't want anything on the tiles here then what we can do is here where it says normal intensity remember our red and green so normal intensity if you just want to display in between the grooves now we'll use green because green was the grooves and you feed it in and then you'll see that our tiles are nice and smooth and the cracks have all the details or if you swap it you can do the same thing now the tiles are all nice and uh, details, but nothing in between on the grooves. So that is how you do that. Um, you could do the same thing with your um, diffuse texture. Well, this is obviously what this is for. The only problem that we're going to have here is that because you have a texture sample over here, uh, which you have to convert to a texture object, um, this one minus node will not work. You would actually physically have to invert your texture if you want to do it. So um, straight off the bat, it's not really going to work. But what we can do is, remember we still have the lerp details here. So what we can do is then just take this alpha node here. I'm just going to bring this one up and say that we just want to display all the details on the red channel. And same thing over here. And I can see the details a little bit more intense, but there we go. Absolutely no detail on our grooves themselves, no texture detail at all, and our tile just displays on the details on the tiles themselves. So I'm just going to click apply here quickly. Close and let's just see what it looks like. So you see there now, only our tiles have the details and nothing else does. This, um, to combine the mask textures is not the, the best way to do it. Um, as I said before, this one minus node is actually the reason why we're not just hooking everything up into the, our detail texturing. Uh, but we can do that quickly. So let's just see what it will look like. We're going to do the same thing. Hook that one up there. And... This one was our roughness, and we're going to hook this one on our detail texture. Fortunately, we can't, so we just need to convert that to a texture object. And then hook this one up to our base color. And do the same thing here intensity so now you'll see it will display um, the same same way but unfortunately because 
our um, scratch details was actually taken from an inverted texture. Uh, the details don't look 100% great. It doesn't look uh, the best. So I would uh, suggest in this case, you would actually have to go in and then just fix this texture itself before you try and hook everything up to here. But um, the basis of this tutorial is actually just to show you how to do your um, masking. So you can use masking for all different ways or different reasons that you want. Um, as I said, you can take your green value and you can feed in and you can put details over onto that side over there. Or you can just combine different, um, different values. Uh, so it all really depends on what you want to do. Now, you're also not limited uh, to just putting them on separately. I mean, you can take like your blue value and you can just uh, draw a line across like that. And um, it, it will work, So, but it all really depends on what you want to do. So, again, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments about the video, leave a comment, leave a like. And then I will see all of you in the next video. I thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.